Wall of Voodoo, Mexican Radio. All right, let's play through all the different sections of the song, and afterwards we can go back through it, uh, give a little more explanation, some guidance, what's going on. Before we get into the song here, please help out the channel, hit that subscription button. Uh, lots of videos like this coming out, so you don't want to miss it. And let's get on to this. Mexican Radio by Wall of Voodoo. <laughs> So in, initially, we get this sequencer going, and I can give you my best interpretation of what's going on there. Uh, it's this really fast, sequenced arpeggio thing happening, and it's some pretty funky notes, so uh, we could try to do it as best as we can here. Um, closest I could find here, we'll go do something like this, where we do a hammer-on from open D to 5, hit the 4 on the G right under that. <laughs> This is all going to happen real fast, so I uh, just have to get this whole motion down. All right, and just follow it up after that by taking that 5 on the D and do a hammer on pull off from 5, 6, 5. Okay, it's just this really quick, short little arpeggiated thing that happens, and uh, best interpretation we got here. So just get that motion down and just get it cranking if you want to try to, you know, fill in this sequencer space. All right, now getting into like the actual guitar parts here, uh, we kick it off with this uh, parts of chords here that kind of slide down and add things, take things away. Basically, it's just part of a G right off the bat here. And we'll do a little pickup note into it. We'll hit the open D. Okay, then we're going to land on 5 of the D and hit some open G's under that. So just this double G note. Okay, go about four times on that. Now we'll bring it down, go to 3rd fret D, hit a couple of those open G's under it, just a couple strums here. Okay, then we bring middle finger down on the 2 of the G, keeping that 3 on the D. Hit a couple of those. Come off to open D and open G. Hit that four times. And then essentially just repeat that second measure again. Okay, a couple of threes uh, on the D with the open G's under it. And then just take that two on the G with the three on the D a couple times. So 
come slowly here, it'd be something like... Alright, so basically if you wanted to do acoustic chords, you could just do a measure G, measure F, measure D, measure F, alright? But this is what close to what the guitar is doing in the actual recording here. And it's a clean chorus vibe going on. And through most of the parts of the song, there's a distorted guitar that parallels that clean guitar that's going on too. Sometimes they play the same thing, sometimes they do a harmony with each other. The main section here, uh, it's just kind of following that same GF, DF thing, but of course we're going to put a little distortion on it and let it ring out some more just single notes here. Uh, so we'll start here at fifth fret on the D, do it just a measure, letting it ring. Okay, take it down to three. Open D. Back to three on the D. Right, now we just follow along that clean guitar for the main section. Once the verse gets going, the clean guitar drops out and we're just sticking with that same uh, distorted main riff that happens. Okay, just that five on the D, uh, three on the D, open D, back to three on the D. You go through that three times. Uh, the last time through, we'll just end on a different note. We'll do the five on the D, three D, open D, but then we just finish the whole thing by landing on three of the A for that. C that happens at the very end of the verse. So just for uh, example here, something like this. section. A couple guitars of course go on here. The distorted guitar comes up to two on the G for a measure, two on the D for a measure, which would be an E chord, then to a G chord where we'll just play the open G here. Right, and then end of that third measure, end of the fourth measure, we do this little bit of a scale where we go two G, open G, three on the D, back to open G. Right. And then essentially we finish out the chorus or the last half of each chorus uh, progression there by doing just that A, E, G. And we just let that G go for two measures. As far as the clean guitar uh, for the choruses, it adds a little bit more, but it's just kind of playing harmony notes to what the other guitar was doing. Okay, essentially like the the, uh, the five harmony. Okay, so uh, we'll be doing open Ds, and you can hit, you can get a little busier with this guitar, you like just hit a couple of notes instead. All right, hit that again just before the measure's out, the open D and end up on the open A. Okay. Hit the open A just before the measure's out and land on the three of the A for that C. Right. And then just finish that with the scale, which is the fives of the, the fifths of the previous scale. So we'll do the open D, three A, one A, three A. Okay. 
Okay, so they're just playing that harmony with each other. All right, and we would repeat the first three measures again. And just a funny little note at the end of the first chorus, they just throw in this uh, kind of uh, spooky chord here. It's just part of a G. All right, we'll hit the uh, four on the G and the open B, open E under it. And just let it ring. Just something that happens at the end of that first chorus if you want to throw that in there. So let's try this one out all up to speed now. All right, now we can get into this quote unquote accordion riff. You know, it's like that uh, synthesizer voiced accordion thing. Um, kind of a fun little riff here. Uh, we'll start by doing a quick little pickup note of the open G. Then we'll land on 7G with the 6B, strum that three times. And then quickly we're going to do 5G, 5B, back to that 7G, 6B. Alright, bring it down to 4G, 3B, right, and then quickly hit uh, fives on the B and G there. Okay. Right, bring it down to 2G, 1B, bring it up to 4G, 3B. Okay, so slowly that would be... second half of it uh, for this first time through um, we would start it the same way but we would just strum uh, those three uh, seven G six B's strum those closer together now I'm just gonna rush through them real quickly there that second time through but then we do that similar thing fives on the B and G back to that seven G six B bring it down to 4G, 3B. And the first time through this, this riff, we just hit that at the end and hold it. And then you can just slide it up slowly. Okay. So try the whole thing slowly now. we see this accordion riff uh, it's basically the same but instead of just finishing on that uh, 4G 3B the second time around and just holding it we're just gonna end it the same way we did with the first chunk okay and go through that whole thing about four times and then add a little little scale at the end okay so uh, slowly it'd be something like <laughs> ending instead of just holding it at the end of those rushed uh, second half of it. And then at the very end we just do a, a little scale, open three, uh, open B to three on the B, open E to three on the E. Just a fine little scale you can cap it off with. Okay, so let's just try this whole thing uh, up to tempo a couple of times through and then put that little scale on the end. Okay, the only different thing that happens in the song here, um, there's this little bridge section, I guess you would call it, where he just keeps saying radio, radio. Um, it throws in this little uh, riff that comes in where we're just kind of strumming on part of a G and then just quickly bouncing between the G7 back to the G a couple times. And it's just kind of a one measure thing that repeats about eight times. 
So slowly it'd be something like this here where we're just hitting that bottom half of a G chord, open G string, three on the B and E, just strum it a couple times. Right, and then from there, we'll just quickly do open G, three B, one on the E to get that G7. Come back right to that uh, G, with that three on the E there, and then quickly back to the one on the E for the G7. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.